these opportunities for you to reach your goal. And Zaha! They don't come every day. Dazzling! Devastating! It used to crush me, but it, motivate, it motivated me even more to get where I am today. He's done it again for Crystal Palace! They lead for a second time! And Zaha! Always believe in yourself. What's up, my boys, and welcome to the Footies Not Sissoko episode here. That is right, Wilfred Zaha won the vote against all popular belief. I feel like a lot of people were expecting the Sissoko to get the win because he's French, uh, gets all the Premier League French links. Uh, and then Wilfred Zaha, there was the Bernard, uh, there was the Bernard that was out, and then there was also still the Gucci man who's out for a couple days. But Gucci man's still about 450, 500,000 coins. The Zaha is about half that. He's super, super cheap uh, compared to the Gucci man and, uh, and stacks up quite nicely against him in terms of stacks. There is, however, one glaring difference between the two cards, and that is obviously the four-star weak foot and the three-star weak foot, which is Zaha. Zaha also has a unique body type, whereas ASM has an average body type, so take that as you will. Uh, I have not used any version of Zaha this year, so we're going to get him in-game and test him out, but there is also a new set of objectives. There is an Adama Traore, a 92 right-winger Adama Traore that is available to get if you do four squad battles matches, and then there's also a 95 one where you unlock all the other, uh, all the other objectives as well. I'm I'm going to leave a link to G is a legend, AK, the guide goat. I'm going to leave a link to his tweet if you guys want to get him, if you guys want to get Triora and then Atal and then a couple of the other objectives done at the same time. Uh, we have ourselves an Indica, I believe, which is pretty damn decent. Uh, uh, Silver Star's Indica, if you guys followed Fatal last year, you know that we, uh, we used Indica in pretty much every Silver Bundesliga squad that we use. But you guys tuned into the video for one reason and one reason only. To smash like on the absolute episodia. Smash like if you voted for Sissoko. Smash like if you voted for Zaha. Smash like if you voted for Ollie Watkins and the Dan James, who are the new five-star skiller footies votes out available right now. My prediction is that Dan James is going to win. Uh, I think he's one rating higher, and then also Manchester United, so I think he gets a little bit more of a pull. Whereas Ollie Watkins is an English player, but he's also a beloved player, so who knows. My uh, my prediction is that we're going to see a, a five-star skiller, Dan James, uh, who looks like he will ship as a right mid. But let's get into this wave review right now. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Like I said, compared to Gucci, man, Zaha actually has only three total in-game stats left. Actually, two. 2,383 stats for Zaha, 2,385 stats for uh, St. Max. Um, and if you compare the cards, Zaha is actually pretty damn decent. Now, medium medium is an interesting work rate to have on Zaha, right? He does have the unique body type, doesn't have any traits to speak of, but if you look into the stats... 98 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Don't need to touch anything there. Has 98 finishing with 99 shot power. Now, I have this theory that if you have a certain amount of shot power, it doesn't matter uh, what kind of your uh, what kind of weak foot you have. Obviously, the three-star weak foot, some would argue that hurts him. But uh, I think with a certain amount of shot power, it doesn't matter uh, as much what the uh, what the weak foot uh, what the weak foot is. 97 agility goes up to 94 reactions with the Maestro chem style. 97 ball control with 99 dribbling, 90 composure, and has that 91 strength. And if you compare that to Alan Saint Maximan, uh, Saint Max has 86 strength, uh, and the Zaha has 91. And then uh, the Zaha actually has 88 stamina. Saint Max has the 99. That was one of the huge benefits. Uh, but then if we look at the dribbling and the finishing stats, Zaha looks like he's be like a better out and out striker. If you guys want to use him there and that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to drop uh Zahino into a squad don't have any coins to afford another right back but we do have this Eto that we packed the other day from our prime icon moments pack we're going to keep the base chem style on him and then we're also going to uh test out this Yarmolenko out wide as a winger because I feel like he could play pretty uh pretty decently there so let's get into match number one with Zahino aka the only player interestingly enough this is the only Republic of Ireland player in ultimate team that has no caps for uh for Ireland interesting fact Match number one with Zaha, Ales. Yo, Wilfred Zaha in the Crystal Palace kit. Can we get a hey, can we get a round of applause for the Crystal Palace kit? Just an absolute beauty of a, of a kit. Um I'm gonna keep it a stack with you, and I think I agree with Nep, dude. I don't think I think Foot is the most fun that it's been all year. Like I know we're at the end of the cycle, but between the the draft milestones, between all these objective cards that I don't feel like are too sweaty, um, I'm having a pretty damn fun time on Ultimate Team, dude. We'll be live later tonight on uh, we'll be live later tonight on Twitch as well. But uh, I'm actually having a pretty fun time on uh, on Ultimate Team. Maybe you guys let me know uh, if you feel the same, if you disagree. But um, let's take a look at the Zaha. I just got the updated price. It looks like he's about. 300,000 coins. There we go. Zaha. Wilfred Zaha. He's got the unique body type. You can do some techno dribbling with Zahino. And Zaha!
pelota que se va desviada al área, se estuvo cerca. Ahí tiene la pelota y en campo contrario. Wilfred Zajaja la bocha. ¡Zaja! You don't really need to worry about you don't really need to worry about the weak foot even though I think we we scored both goals with the right foot for 300,000 coins versus 500,000 coins now here's here's the issue that some of you guys might be facing right you might have already done the Bernard who was pretty damn cheap I think it was one SPC set you might be grinding towards the Gucci man and you're maybe close to uh, you might be close to completing it so then the Zaha obviously presents a problem for you um, but I mean hear me out and then obviously that Adama Traore is there, so like if you if you were if you were needing like a a, a right winger, um, and that's another thing I forgot to mention. We have a Premier League uh, Premier League Plus objective. Um, we have the hidden finesse shot trait. We have the weekend league plus objective, which requires eight Premier League players in your starting eleven, which is making these obviously which is making the footies uh, Premier League uh, player pick very attractive. It is also, for that matter, making all the SPCs that are coming out for the Premier League super uh, super attractive as well, uh, including the likes of a uh, Zaha, who, based on the first uh, based on the first 25 minutes of the game, he moves really, really silky. I'm seeing it on Twitter and I'm seeing it in Footbin. I'm seeing it on Reddit. Is getting an unusual amount of hate, man. Like I don't know. People are saying that you know. People are saying okay, uh, cool. Like you know, most useless SPC. Uh, Gucci Man is better. Okay, in, in some respects, Gucci Man might be better. Four star weak foot has more has plus ten stamina, but in some aspects, this Zaha card's absolutely cracked. I mean, look at the pace. Ready? Do one of these. Okay, well, that's just me getting a little bit cheeky. Just a, I think he's just a really fun card. And then you know what? You you get him for three hundred thousand coins. You grind uh, Adama Troyer for the thirty hours that it's going to require to get him. And then you just go ahead and you uh you you slap those two in your weekend league and you're sorted. And Zaha! Dazzling! Devastating! No chance. No chance, dude. What is this game right now, dude? FIFA feels it feels super delayed. I thought maybe it was Zaha feeling a little bit sluggish, but it's the same with the same thing with Eto. Ooh, that's a miss. That's a big miss in the 77th minute. Zaha, I got to downvote you for that. He knows that he knows that he let us down as well. Zaha, how do you miss that? How does that miss? Zaha's the kind of guy that makes up for it. And Zaha! Dazzling! Devastating! I told you, you don't, need, you don't need to worry about the left foot with a Wilfred Zaha. Well, you have enough shot power. He comes back and he makes up for it. Wilfred freaking Zaha, boys. In the 81st minute, hugging it out with his boy Eto. It's things you absolutely love to see. Has the 95 shooting, has significantly better shooting stats for that matter than uh, than Gucci, man. It depends where you want to play the two. Here, let's see. What, what, what's that? What's that 88? Look at him. He just... That's that's the 91 strength right there. Look at him Look at him, Look at at him. him running late game. Oh, you think you're going to catch him? No, you're not. Sometimes that's all you got left. Sometimes you have to. Uh, sometimes you only have one resort. And then Zaha. Okay, well another down. Another negative might be the uh, the pens as well. Or well, we're gonna go this way. School of pens. We're gonna chip the nuts off this guy. Got him. All right. So that what is that? Is that four goals? Man like Wilfred freaking Zaha, dude. He looks sick in the Crystal Palace kit. Look at what it means to him, dude. Look at Diego Simeone coming over. He's saying, I like to grab the nuts. I like to grab the nuts too. All right, so through a match of play, Wilfred Zaha goes up, collects his ball. Um, he has himself. I wonder what what does the tattoo mean? Does anyone know what the tattoo means on the? Yo, the star tattoo is kind of sick. Super. I can tell you right now, man. Super, super silky on the ball. Look at the slow. Look at it in slow motion. Pop. Little bit of that, and then another little pop, and another little pop. That's left analog stick dribbling, and then a blast. Wilfred, how can you not love Wilfred Zaha, man? In the Crystal Palace kit. Look at what it means to him, dude. And 
Zaha! Nice goal for Zaha. Dude, Zaha moves mad, man. Right, get him behind, stay central. Um, that's, that's a ridiculous save from Mariola. That is an absolutely ridiculous save from Mariola. I know this is going to sound weird, but Zaha's wiggling ability is kind of nuts. Is the body faint? Left analog stick dribbling, 97 dribbling. One of these. I'm going to say it right now, Zaha for 300,000 coins. I don't know if it's the unique body type or whatever. We've said that in the episode a couple times already, but Zaha is, is wholeheartedly winning me over right now. I mean, check this one right here. This is Eto. This is Eto to his man Zaha. Nice little uh, little scoop turn or whatever, a little bit of a ball roll, and then uh, blasts it uh, right with the with the finesse. This is the last Zahino goal right here. Uh, Samuel Eto to uh, Zaha, body faint, left in lock stick dribbling. Uh, again, has that strength. Notice how he kind of runs into Varane and doesn't get bodied off, right? So he's got that. That's left in lock stick dribbling. There's a little bit of a heel flick. He goes in for a challenge, and then uh, and then that's his left foot. Does that look does, does that look like a guy who's struggling to score goals with his left, even though he has three star weak foot? Just absolutely does Varan. Th this might get a lot of hate, and this is an unpopular opinion because everyone, everyone and their mothers seem to wanted that Sissoko. Interestingly, though, people didn't vote that way. Um, I think this 95 Zaha is a whole lot of fun in terms of value. Again, 300,000 coins with the stats that you do get. I mean, it's just absolutely. It's, it's a really, really nice looking card for the stats. So for that matter, for 300,000 coins, might even be cheaper than that by the time the price uh, the price settles. I'm going to say four out of five in terms of uh, in terms of value. And in terms of on the pitch performance, I am also going to give it a four out of five. At the end of the day, I really do like this card as an endgame uh, Premier League left mid. Has a bunch of positives going for it. Again, the three-star weak foot, depending on how you view that, uh, might be enough for you not to do it. And some people might even look at the 88 stamina and think to themselves, that's not what I want at this stage in the game. But I can tell you, he moves like... Like an absolute silky game boy with that unique body type and uh, i really did enjoy using this card so that's gonna do it for the episode here boys sorry that the videos have been kind of uh intermittent it's summer uh got a lot going on uh, got a lot going on with the uh with the apartment got a lot of uh, things going on behind the scenes that i'll share with you guys uh that i'll share with you guys shortly I still don't have the pog pick but um it's been it's been a crazy few weeks man so i uh, appreciate you guys hanging in there with me and uh really happy to get the zaha episode out we voted for him and i was really looking forward to him getting it just because we love ourselves a cheeky crystal pal Pardu, aka Pards, managed them for, uh, for some time, and uh, we got ourselves a fun little Zaha card. But you guys, maybe let me know if you guys have completed Zaha Hino. Let me know in the comment section below. Smash like if you guys did enjoy the epi. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.